So the Clinical Genomics Laboratory is the translational arm of the Philippine Genome Center where we translate uh, the scientific expertise of the center in terms of DNA sequencing technologies and apply them for use in the clinics. So the original um, uh, applications or what we envisioned the Clinical Genomics Laboratory to focus on initially were um, in the field of cancer, for example, where we utilize it for the diagnosis of certain genetic cancers and also somatic cancers and how this can actually help inform oncologists or uh, cancer doctors on what uh, ideal uh, chemotherapeutic agents they can give to their patients based on the molecular profile of their tumors. But in response to the pandemic uh, earlier this year, um, the Genome Center took it uh, as an opportunity to uh, utilize its expertise in uh, molecular-based modalities and um, answer the call of the country, essentially, uh, with regard to the need for uh, testing, uh, specifically for COVID-19. Uh, so mass testing, as a, in, in principle, basically means you test as many people as you can with the hopes of uh, catching uh, more individuals that carry the disease. But more than simply uh, identifying cases, it also helps build a certain roadmap uh, for, especially for contact tracing purposes. So the wider you cast your net, the better you can get an idea of where the virus has been and where it's going. And mass testing, of course, uh, in the traditional sense, besides uh, identifying who has it and who doesn't, uh, the Philippine Genome Center is also equipped with the technology to uh, analyze not just the presence or absence of the virus, but all the way down to the genetic makeup of the virus, which uh, is a very powerful tool in terms of understanding not just uh, where the virus is going in terms of uh, the physical between people, but also in terms of the evolutionary aspect, like identifying certain mutations and um, certain possibilities how these mutations might translate to effects in the clinics. For example, maybe it's more infectious as a result of a mutation or it might be worse in terms of outcomes. So all of this can be informed through mass testing.